then I'll just ask the next question. Um, and it is related to the topic of remote viewing and too much global attention. Uh, when Flight 370 vanished under mysterious circumstances, my first thought was, how about using remote viewing to find out where it is and what happened on board? But after sifting through several sources on the internet and seeing the contradictory statements, I was wondering whether remote viewing probably stops working when there is too much global attention on the topic under investigation and the psi uncertainty principle kicks in, feeding remote viewers a lot of garbage. So what are your thoughts on this issue, particularly with respect to topics like Flight 70, where it's very hard to find out the facts through purely materialistic approaches? Yeah, there is, there is, uh, there is something to that, the way he, uh, you know, the analysis that he did is, uh, is, is correct for, for several reasons. Um, but not necessarily exclusive. It's not that remote viewing can't do it. It's just that remote viewing has maybe a little higher uh, threshold to get over. And part of that threshold is that there's a lot of information out there. And if you're not a real practiced remote viewer, if you're more of a, of a, um, uh, should we say, uh, uh, amateur remote viewer, then because of all the information that's there, and, uh, oh, we think they maybe went, uh, you know, uh, what was it, uh, west and north, uh, headed toward uh, the Middle East, or maybe they did this and that, and you've got all that data. Because you have all that data, it tends to pollute your, your thoughts. It gets in the way of your being just open to whatever comes, because now you have ideas of what the data might be like. You know, remote viewing protocols, they usually tell the remote viewer nothing. They don't even tell him where he's going. You know, they don't say, oh, we want you to review this particular part of the world. They say, I've got an envelope here that's sealed, and, and usually the person telling this doesn't know what's in the envelope either, and it has coordinates in it, and I want you to go to those coordinates. And the reason they use that as a protocol is because then the remote viewer doesn't try to second guess what he might see. Otherwise, remote viewers would say, okay, I'm getting good at coordinates now. I know about where that is on the globe. Let's see, uh, is there anything major there? Oh yeah, that's uh, Middle East. Yeah, he's probably looking at the pyramids, you know? And you have all this intellectual um, noise that gets added. So when a, big, when a big event happens like that, there's so much speculation and so much information flying around that it creates a huge amount of noise for remote viewers. They don't have that pristine, untainted uh, protocol that uh, allows them to open their mind and not feed it with their intellect. Okay, so that's that's one thing. So you're right. It's not necessarily the psi uncertainty uh, there. Uh, psi uncertainty does come into the fact that it's so well publicized. So now if somebody in their own uh, living room goes and, and uh, remote views it and comes up with, a, with an answer, well, that doesn't, that doesn't trigger science because nobody but that person or the few people he talks to, or even if he, uh, you know, locally goes on a radio station and talks about it, globally that has no impact. It's almost like it didn't exist. But on the other hand, if somebody who's well known, someone uh, who does remote viewing, some uh, renowned psychic or something gets up and, and says that on the prime news. Here's what, you know, the great, you know, Cosmo um, says about that flight. Now, the uh, science person will be very well give the great Cosmo some garbage because there's too many people watching and the science certainty you know, has a problem with that. So that would be the case for, for science certainty. Um, other than that, I would say most people who are probably remote viewers probably wouldn't or have that ability probably really wouldn't go and look. It's just another material thing. There's no, you know, what John and I were talking earlier, you know, it's uh, inquiring egos would like to know. You know, it's one of those ego things that isn't really going to help you grow, isn't really going to help anything that you know or don't know. You just want to know because that would be fun and interesting to, to know and be in, the, be in the know on that. 
and people who are kind of outgrown that then aren't really going to remote view. They're not going to bother with it. It is just the way it is. It'll unfold how it unfolds, and kind of sneaking a peek at it isn't isn't interesting. So that means that the people who are out there remote viewing and talking about it, where you or he said he looked at the internet and found all kind of conflicting ideas. One, there are people who are into the story who now have a lot of noise put into their mind. And two, they're probably all not, not that uh, adept because otherwise they really wouldn't even be interested. I think those are the kind of the three, the three components that were affecting uh, you know, what you got when you were uh, trying to look and see what the room was viewers would say. Now there no doubt are some very good remote viewers who can get rid of the noise, don't have to have those kind of protocols, who could have done that and if asked for some reason, maybe by the people who were looking for it, you know, where they may have, you know, done that sort of thing. But if that was happening, you'd never hear about it. It's unlikely you would hear about it. Um, typically that sort of stuff happens under the, you know, under the radar, as they say, it's not uh, it's not talked about because people don't want to be known that they you know they went to ask a psychic. You know that a lot of the uh, world would say, oh, that person must be stupid or something to do that. But typically, if that's done, sometimes it's publicized, but most of the time, I think it would be not. But the people in charge probably. Uh, did not do that. I don't know whether they did or not. It depends on the individual, whether or not they thought that was worth doing. Many individuals in their culture, probably the, you know, the 50, 60, 70 percent anyway, would not think that was that was worth doing.